Hey guys, welcome back to another Speed Build in The Sims 4. My name is Lily. I'm stoked to bring you another video this week. And yet again, I'm going for a bit of an industrial vibe, working on a bit of a converted factory, I suppose. I'm in the arts quarter on the lot called the Old Salt House in San Maishuno. There's actually a free trial, I believe, going for city living at the moment on The Sims. So if you do decide that you haven't got that pack and you want to get the trial, then you can always build on the same lot that I am, or if you already own San Maishuno and City Living, then you know where to find it already. But I love this neighborhood, it's the Arts Quarter, I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm 90% sure that it is the Arts District, and there's lots of big sort of warehouses all around here, and this lot is just awesome to build on. It's got a beautiful view of both the city behind the house and the house looks out towards the ocean as well so it's gorgeous and it's a big square lot so super easy to build on and I think generally is a bit of a cheat anyway or a bit of a life hack building on a square lot with a converted warehouse style is just even easier because it's boxes on boxes and you can essentially just do a big square and it's going to look good <laughs> I tried to give a little bit more shape to it with a bit of a cool roof that you'll see me pop on in a bit and really landscaped manicured beautiful gardens that wrap around the outside but for the most part this is really just a boxy square build and you'll already notice now that I'm putting in windows and doors that I am using custom content so I do apologize for any console players out there or anyone who gets their knickers in a twist about having custom content but I'm sorry I'm going through such an obsessive oh like a love affair with it at the moment. I just love it. It's revived my spark and my ins inspiration and motivation to start building again. And I just love it. I'm just so happy exploring with it. Like for example, those windows I'm putting in now, they're one-way mirrors. So on the street side, you get a mirrored view. And then on the inside of the house, you can see out like a normal window. And I love them because especially for bathrooms, it's you know, the whole issue of, oh, do we want people to be able to see your Sims going to the toilet and having a shower? Well, now they don't have to, and they can feel free and alive in their bathrooms knowing that nobody can see them. So I love them. And a lot of the other windows that I'm using as well have sort of been designed where they've got blank frames in the middle so you can make a continuous piece of glass go for as long as you like which we don't have that functionality with our normal windows that come in the sims so another reason i just love 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 custom content the floor that i'm putting in now is also custom content and i've gone with like this black tile herringbone pattern which is just gorgeous in reality if you were to get that laid throughout your house i have a feeling it would be incredibly expensive but it's The Sims and you know we can do what we like in The Sims. This is the roof I was just talking about before so I wanted to give something a little bit more architectural, a little bit more funky so I've gone with two normal roofs on the side and then a glass atrium ceiling for the whole center of the house and I think it really helps make it look like more of a factory having a roof like this. Um, for some reason or maybe that's just me I'm not sure but anyway I thought that was helping to bring in some natural light and just give a little bit more of a unique flavor I think I might do a tutorial on roofing and just a little quick easy simple tips to help make your builds look a little bit nicer and a little bit more polished even if they are really simple roofing for me in particular was something I really struggled with when I started building on the sims so I think I might do a tutorial let me know if that's something that might interest you guys I know that the YouTube space already has so many tutorials to choose from but I like the tutorial space I think that I could add something a little bit different I think that a lot of the tutorials out there really blitz through some of the steps and, and a lot of them don't have a voiceover and they don't really just slow down for you. There's a lot of stuff to read on the screen. So those are great and that's how I have learned a lot of my own skills on The Sims 4. But I think that there is a bit of a hole in the market there for proper in-depth tutorials in in some aspects. So look, that might be something I decide to do. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in looking and in looking, in watching in the future. I do think I need to start mixing up the content a bit more, but I am really limited by my setup in terms of, 
a camera. So I borrow a camera when I do my video intros and any sort of video or, or content that requires my face up on screen, I do borrow a camera for that. But obviously in borrowing it and not having it full time means that I'm sort of limited as to what type of content I can produce when, which is why a lot of people have been waiting here so patiently for my Let's Play. I assure you it's coming. I've just got to get my hands on that camera and then I can record it for you guys. But anyway, um, I think that if I do some tutorial stuff that will require a camera too, so I can get up on screen, just like in my last and my first ever tutorial, that's also on the channel if you go and check it out. But if there's anything else you'd like to see outside of tutorials and outside of speed builds and let's plays and I don't even know what other content there is outside of those things but if there's anything you'd like to see please let me know. I'm actually a visual artist and a graphic designer by day so I'm wondering whether or not I actually start incorporating a few other sort of different pieces of content onto the channel as well or if keeping it or moving away sorry from just doing sims content is going to mean people aren't going to be very happy <laughs> so i'm not too sure do let me know in the comments below there's quite a few of us now which is quite nice and i just love being able to come to my computer every tuesday upload it and then get some beautiful comments usually from some of the same people which is such a beautiful lovely feeling to have grown or started to grow a little community here of just beautiful lovely people that are all about shouting out and being kind to one another and leaving a helpful comment I just I really appreciate it and I love it and it's my favorite part about this whole YouTube thing it is really hard having to get a video up every week I'll have to admit it's such a, like a time consuming endeavor but the consistency of having to do it every week is awesome because it's like a little project each week a little tick box that I can check off when I am journaling to think to myself yeah I accomplished something pretty cool this week but anyway I've just waffled on about a whole lot of nothing really so I'll get back to talking through what we're seeing on screen but ultimately I'm just putting in the landscaping now keeping it nice and simple I'm using hedges around the outside to give a bit of a structured sort of more modern look to it. I think that having um, having those hedges can really help with that modern touch. And you would have noticed there's these garden beds that I'm just putting lights into now that are holding sculptures. I thought that was a really nice way to sort of highlight different areas of nothing around the outside of this house by popping some sculptures into them and the little water fountain on the left there. And I like the idea of because of this house being in the city district and it's a converted warehouse and there's lots of people that are going to be milling about and walking around in the town right outside the house that it might be nice to give them something to look at other than your sims <laughs> so that's why i put in those cute little sculptures i thought it was kind of a nice nod to the fact that this is in the arts district as well so having some art around that the public can enjoy for free was a, a nice touch i thought and in regards to my lighting, what I've done is I'm going with one of the base game black lights and I'm sizing it down as small as it will go. And it's got a really nice shape, a nice modern flavor to it. And the good thing is that when you shrink the size of it, it doesn't actually affect the light ray. Like you're still getting heaps of light that's popping out for you from it. So that's why I chose those. They're not very like um, garish or aggressive looking either. They're nice and slim. And then we're moving inside now. So this is the, <laughs> this is the inside. I'm about to say, well, duh, Lily. This, this is gonna be the living room section. So it's like a sunken lounge sort of area. So you walk into the main sort of living area of the house and it's this big open section with the kitchen and dining room on the other side of this wall. And then on this side that we're sort of filling out now is the little lounge relaxation place. I've got a big black floating marble sort of shelf and a shelf that wraps also around the entire wall and that picture frame there is actually a television so that's more custom content next to those beautiful custom content pendants so lots of custom content in here that rug also custom content those lounges also custom content um, most of this stuff is from felix felix andre and harry um, so I will link a bunch of the uh, custom content into the description below. It's just some of the most beautiful stuff ever, 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 ever. That um, wallpaper behind there as well, that's got a beautiful feature sort of jungle vibe on it. That's also from Felix 
Andre and Harry from the Chinese Travelers, which is actually a kid's kit, like a kid's custom content pack. But there's some beautiful stuff in there that I like to use for adults in Sims of all ages. And so that's what I'm doing now is I'm just sort of fiddling with all this custom content and just creating sort of like a really modern, but like funky modern, like someone who works at Vogue would probably live here or Architectural Digest or whatever. Just someone who has great taste. Wow, I'm technically patting myself on the back massively here for the way that I'm designing and styling this, but I would live here in a heartbeat. It's gorgeous. How could you not be impressed if you walk into a house like this? Everything just looks expensive and fancy, but also like approachable and warm. You know, I, I'm not a fan of really, really, really modern houses where everything feels like you don't want to touch it because you're scared that you're going to leave fingerprints or you can't put your feet on the couch and get comfortable because people will judge you. <laughs> so I kind of, even with my really big, beautiful, expensive looking homes, like to give it a bit more of a sense of, I don't know, like warmth and, you know, an approachable nature that just you'd want to just come in, pick up one of those coffee table magazines and just put your feet up, watch a show on the big TV or is it a picture frame kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of the, what I was trying to emulate here. And again, I'm just using way more custom content to clutter things up. There's beautiful books there as well, some candles. And I've just got a little, um, a little outdoor section off this living room there, which has a table and chairs that I'll pop on in a little bit later. But I thought that was nice, just having a few little outdoor enclosed balconies that you could sort of sit and chill on. And they've got those black panels on the side to give you a little bit of protection or privacy, I suppose, from the street, because you are smack bang in the middle of the city. But anyway, on the other side of that wall to the living room, we have the dining room. So it's pretty much what you walk into as you enter this beautiful house. And so I wanted a big statement dining table, again, custom content, <laughs> um, and a nice big uh, hanging pendant. That said, I have to get rid of that pendant, and I do get rid of that pendant because there is no ceiling above this section because it is a vaulted sort of atrium and there is a loft upstairs with the bedroom. So this actually hasn't got a ceiling above it. So I have to get rid of that light in a second, but I'm trying to be a lot more conscious with my Sim games or my builds, sorry, um, to not use too many lights. And I like in real life, for example, like I hate having lights on at night. I, for you know, my gaming room is mainly just one little baby lamp and then obviously my crazy like neon light up gaming rig and consoles and all that whatever that are flashing in the background but for the most part it's really cozy and warm and quite dark and so I often switch to night mode in The Sims to finish furnishing things out especially the, um, the lighting because I want to give it a really nice moody sort of real sense of ambience in the game so that's what I'm doing there I'm sort of trying to prevent myself from putting down just 50 of those saucer lights which is what my my usual go-to used to be so you'll see me switching lighting a lot in this just to get a sense of what things look like at night time because that's my favorite time to play really and now I'm just doing the kitchen some more beautiful beautiful custom content here this is again from Felix Andre and Harry I believe um, this they have like so many kits that are based on specific rooms so they've got a bathroom a bathroom that's spelt with f buff bathroom bathroom kit they've got the living room they've got the kitchen they've got all the beautiful rooms and this is pretty much all their custom content in this room in pretty much this whole house really and i'm going for a bit of a brown vibe and some little offsets of green oh, it's just beautiful i end up covering that um <laughs> I'm sorry, I am I always about 20 minutes in lose the ability to speak on these things. It's just challenging. Oh, and I'm not even 20 minutes in, I'm 13 minutes in. But anyway, what I was trying to say is I'm gonna cover up that brick with a mirrored splashback, which you've just seen me do now. And otherwise just add in some additional clutter. So a few little bits and pieces there. And I wanted to tie in the white of my seats at the island with the rug behind the dining table. So that's why I've got chosen that like nice sheepskin rug there. And now I'm just again adding some lighting. Again, no pendants because where there's no roof or actually in this corner back part, there is a bit of a roof section, but not wanting to use too many hanging lights. And for that weird little alcovey 
bit there that I'm trying to fill out. I don't even know what you'd call it. I thought, is, is it good for a butler's pantry? It's a bit small. So instead, I've just done open shelving as a pantry. If I think this is probably how you would do it, how practical it would be if this was your house. Just stacking stuff up on the side there. I love to use lots of clutter and I love to use the clutter specifically that comes with custom content. So things like candles, those plates that stack, that gorgeous plant that hangs over the edge. Oh, I just love it. God damn it, custom content creators are talented. It just, oh, blows my mind. I'm, I find them so impressive. Like, how do you learn how to do custom content? How do you figure that out? Like, what? Like, so how is that something you just get into? I suppose you may be doing like game development or 3D using Blender or whatever, but the, this stuff is just so crazy good. And it really annoys me that they can't charge more for the custom content. I know that they charge for like pre-release when people can get access to download stuff earlier on their Patreon or whatever, but quite frankly, I would pay more than just the early release fee like just to buy the packs because i'd rather give them my money than ea <laughs> it's a harsh reality ea but it's true anyway we're just moving into this little alcove on this side so on this side we have an indoor bar which i'm obsessed with it's beautiful it's fun it's funky it's where i'd spend a lot of my time especially on the weekends if i was having people over and if you've got this house your def's having people over um, it's got this beautiful big living living wall there, which is gorgeous. Brings a nice pop of color in here. It's kind of got a bit of a jungle vibe, this house. I think it all started from the wallpaper in the living room and it's just kind of followed it all the way through. But uh, lots of greens and blacks, I think that they all go together so nicely, those colors. And anyway, I digress. This bar is cool though. I used to work in a bar for like five years, six years, five or six years. From when i was 18 a long time <laughs> hospitality is really where you learn a lot about um people and the world around you and the fact that there are a lot of people that are nicer than others and how unfortunate that is but anyway i'm digressing massively here we'll we'll leave that topic alone <laughs> for now but i do recommend working in the service industry if you want to be a decent human being because it teaches you how to treat people we'll leave it at that for the bathroom <laughs> I wanted to go with a really moody vibe. I don't know what it is about moody dark bathrooms, but I've been doing them a lot lately. Um, so I've got like this sort of feature color that runs along the floors and the walls. So one of the beautiful things about that custom content is that you can get your wallpaper to match your floor tiles exactly, which is quite fun. So that's what I'm doing there and just adding in lots of black dark appliances and giving it kind of an industrial feel that matches with the rest of the building like that big iron mirror gorgeous piece of custom content there and I end up just putting one shower in because realistically there's another two bathrooms in this house I don't need two shower heads in the one room here and I needed to make room for my toilet which is what I'm doing there so a nice black floating toilet at the side and just some nice hanging plants actually I think I get rid of those to make way for a bigger plant or fern in the corner there in yep that one so that's also a piece of custom content plants. I've actually built this, oh my gosh, I love it. This little apartment that's just full of plants. And that's gonna be one of the next builds that I bring out for you guys. I just figured that doing two small apartment builds um, back to back in a week or in two weeks, sorry, wasn't really giving all of you what you might be interested in. I know that I've started out with a lot of the mansion and bigger builds. So I think that going back to a few bigger pieces here and there in between smaller apartments is probably what a lot of you would rather see. I could be wrong, let me know below if you have a preference over the size of a build. I think the good thing about doing smaller builds is that you can watch the edit for them in like 10 minutes or less, which is rad. Whereas with these bigger builds and these mansions, you end up with, you know, a half hour video and it's a commitment, like wow. You must all be so sick of hearing my voice by now, surely. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm baffled how some of you always keep coming back. And, and the fact that people are talking about the things I'm talking about in my voiceovers blows my mind because it's people are actually listening. So thank you. If you're listening to this exact part, well done. <laughs> thank you very much. I don't expect you to all listen to a full half hour, but for those of you who do that, you deserve like a sticker or like a medal or if you're the type of person that sits back and has this on in the background while you relax, maybe you're in the bath, 
you know, maybe you're doing some drawing. Like that's when I really love to watch speed builds. The long ones is when I have some drawing to do on my iPad or some designing and I've got it on in the background. I find it really soothing and just such relaxing content. Oh, playing The Sims is relaxing, but watching speed builds is like just as relaxing as well. I suppose that's why the whole, you know, Twitch industry and streaming industry is just so massive. Having people watch, you know, in real time is, is a whole other level as well. Um, I was actually talking to my gorgeous friend Liv, who's probably watching along. Hey, Livy. Um, about the idea of doing streaming and, you know, this whole thing of people wanting to watch in real time with building. And I just didn't think people would be really interested in full length at speed builds because I just think you'd get a little bit bored, wouldn't you? Maybe. I don't know. But she seemed to think that there's a market for it. And I mean, she does, you know, have a point given that people are paying and, and donating to people and subscribing to people on Twitch where the whole idea is that you're watching it in real time as it unfolds. Um, live streaming kind of wigs me out, I'm not gonna lie. It's, um, it's kind of baffling to me, mainly because probably one of the biggest, <laughs> I suppose, lies about me on this um, or in how I represent myself on my YouTube is that I have a really bad potty mouth in real life. I swear, I do, I cuss, I just, I can't help it. I just, I actually quite like a lot of the swear words and like the emphasis that it gives. And I just, <laughs> I worry about streaming because I just know that I would be swearing a lot. And I don't know, when I'm just doing a 30 minute voiceover record, I can keep myself on track and I don't have to worry so much about dropping an F-bomb or whatever here and there but I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> so streaming does really wig me out. And like, like, you know, what if you need to like do a fart or like you want to like pick your nose quickly or blow your nose or whatever. And you can't do any of that because you're streaming live and everyone's watching you do it. And then it's mortifying if they can see it because you forget that everyone's watching you. That would also require you to have people that actually watch you stream though, which at this point I don't, it's not really an issue for me. I don't even have a Twitch channel. So I'm, I'm getting worried and anxious about something that isn't even a factor in my life. But anyway, maybe in the future, um, let me know if uh, streaming is something that you're interested in or longer form content in general, watching real time builds. I don't think I'd watch real time building on The Sims personally, but if you would, let me know in the comments below. And that's another question I'll ask while I'm on the topic of, um, of streaming. Do you reckon it's better to stream on something that's like more of an established platform like Twitch, which is known specifically for gaming and streaming and what have you, or to do it via YouTube? Because I know a lot of people are moving across to the YouTube streaming, you know, software and platform. And I don't know, I think from the perspective of ease and consistency like my branding and everything and my channel itself is already set up on youtube so having streaming as part of just my channel content could be cool but at the same time you know you get so much more out of the idea of being on twitch and having a twitch account and saying oh yeah i'm a twitch streamer or at least that's what in my limited experience the impression that i get of the space but anyway let me know i know that a lot of people have lots of problems with twitch as well in regards to like how the donations work or how, I don't know. I, I don't even know anything about the platform, so I could be completely wrong there, but I just feel like there's always some bad news happening in Twitch or people complaining about something here and there. Anyway, again, let me know in the comments. I really don't know much at all about what I'm doing <laughs> in regards to any of this. In you know, the YouTube stuff, I just kind of wanted to give it a crack and see how it ended up. And I love The Sims and it made sense to do stuff on The Sims because I'm obsessed with it. And I kind of think I have a bit of a knack for house building. So that's pretty cool. And I'm enjoying it so far. And apparently some of you are too. So that's rad. But yes, I don't really know what I'm doing. So if there's anybody out there that's thinking, I'd love to start a YouTube channel or to start, you know, streaming or any of that stuff that I've been talking about, just start because the biggest mistake I made was not starting sooner. I'm still figuring out the kinks and my editing style and all of that sort of stuff, but it's fun. It's just so much fun to explore and learn and grow. And I think if you're not learning or if you're not, you know, moving forward in some way with whatever you're doing, then it's just a bit of a waste of time. So anywho, life lessons from Lily. 
where <laughs> you're gonna get back to the build now because we've only got this um, bedroom here and then one more bedroom on the other side before the end of the video. So I might as well talk about some of the choices I'm making. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the green room. I like to think of it. Look at that bed. It's just gorgeous. And like the animation when they get into these beds is also really nice. It just, the blank blanket kind of animates with it. And it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. I just love it. And anyway, there's lots of plants. They've obviously got that like plant corner there. The bedrooms also have glass that look out onto the rest of the house, which is really cool. Um, I think that's a really unique flavor, like quite a interesting touch. It does mean that if people are partying and you haven't got blinds that cover those windows, that you're probably going to be kept up by people, but that's all right. If you live here and people are partying, you just join them, you know? And then I've kind of got this dividing wall in this bedroom here with some clothes on the other side of it. And I decided to put in like a little gaming station or a little chill posse where you can just hang out. Maybe you don't want to be hanging out with everyone else downstairs, but you still want your own sort of zone. So I'm just creating that there for them with the same couches as downstairs, but just in different colors. And how nice is that mirror as well that just leans against the wall? It's just... Uh, Oh, you can see how I love custom content like it just blows my mind and even the clutter like you can get things like little glasses and little little iPhones and stuff that just sit around and little bowls with keys in them it just makes it so much more realistic you know um, I don't know why EA doesn't do more clutter people love clutter I reckon if they brought out a stuff pack that was just full of clutter people would be so into it I know I would be they've got all these bloody kits they might as well bring out a bring out a kit for that a clutter kit you know anyway <laughs> we're in the second bedroom now on the other side this these rooms are massive as well so like I had to kind of figure out how to section them this one's kind of more of a boho vibe it's got lots of pinks and browns and and it's it's quite chic I actually really like this bedroom on this side um, I think it's probably a bit more me than the green one but then at the same time I would totally sleep in the green one too and I do have a lot of plants I'm a bit of a plant freak so I don't know I would live anywhere in this house I'd be grateful to just even be there to just like <laughs> to just be in the presence of such a beautiful house I'd be stoked so anyway see look there's some of that clutter I'm putting in now like that little bowl with keys and stuff oh pretty and then my idea with this upstairs section here was it was like a little open wardrobe before you go into the bathroom and to not put a big full wall in to not block the light coming from the back of the bedroom there and so now I'm left with this huge space and I thought oh what am I going to put and I thought well the best idea is to put in a fireplace so bam there's a marble fireplace very pretty very beautiful I love it and I've just got a bit of a, like a sitting area at the back here that you can kind of hang at. So I would hang out there for sure, have a little wine at the end of the day. I do feel the need to confirm that I am in fact over 21 years of age, so nobody worry about that. Um, I don't know also why I need to tell you that based on the fact that I want to have a wine in the back there. But anyway, there you go. Disclaimer. Um, <laughs> oh God, some of the things that pop into my head sometimes, I just don't even know why. But um. Anyway, I'm just going to finish kitting out the rest of this bedroom here. It's lots of speakers everywhere in this house, which is pretty cool and lots of plants. So I'm all about it. Bit of an electric guitar there, you know, just in case you really want to piss off your roommates by playing that at two in the morning with those massive speakers, you know, that's fun. And anyway, we're on into the ensuite now, which is just the last little bit of the inside of this house. And then I just finish up a few little trimmings on the outside around the fence, but Oh, I just I love this house. I love everything about it. If you guys aren't too annoyed at me using custom content Then that's great because any excuse for me to keep using it is gonna make me a very happy lady So let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video Thank you again as always for being here to join me. I can't wait to come back. Can't wait to come back I <laughs> oh God, I've lost the plot. I need to go now um, like if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week for another one, hopefully with custom content, maybe not, I don't know, I don't even know what's happening, it's 9 o'clock at night, I need to go to bed. I'll see you guys later, bye.